the most difficult time, which I'm sure a lot of people can relate to, is you know probably around middle school. I think when you know people can usually be the meanest. You know, you're kind of discovering who you are as a person. Sometimes you you yourself are are the victim of being bullied. Sometimes I think to try to impress cool people, you will bully people as well. And I always feel like you know that's one thing. It's it's never it's not always black and white with people getting bullied. I think, you know, for me at least, I felt like I kind of was both roles to people. And I think when you're younger, you you can sometimes fall into that to try to impress people, to 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 be cooler, to be to fit in. And I think once I discovered music and started playing bass, um, that was a, a turning point for me. I found who were the really you know cool people, the the people that understood. You know, it's not about being a mere image of the other people you're trying to hang out with. It's about being that unique individual within the group. And it, it definitely helped me because I, I feel like high school was, was an easy time for me. I know some people that's maybe the worst time, but I had the music and I, you know, I had something to fall back upon. You know, if people were one way in school, it's like, well, guess what? I'm going to go home and I'm going to play and learn riffs. And by that point, I had been in a local band for maybe four or five years. So I just was so unconcerned with anyone's opinions about what I did or what I didn't do. And actually what's cool is a lot of those people that I, I keep in touch with or that get in touch with me, they always mention about how I was so focused on music then and how cool it is that I'm still doing it now. And in high school, I definitely chilled out a lot more. And some people that I might've you know, been kind of the harasser you know, we ended up becoming friends or better friends in high school when you're just kind of like, ah, that was stupid. You know, what were you thinking? And um, yeah, it's, it, it's cool how music has kind of been the, the, the solid rock in my life, you know, and for all of us, you know, being myself became more important. Being myself as a player and off stage, on stage, it didn't matter. That became what I focused on. And hey, I just noticed I grew a lot more as a person. The better I became as a musician and the more I focused on it, the less the bad things in life, you know, affected me. Um, I mean, I've been, I've been fortunate that my parents are great, my family's great, I've always had a great relationship, but, you know, in school, that's a real tough thing. You can't escape that when you're at school and you're stuck there, and not only do you have to learn, and, and sometimes learn stuff you really don't care about or not interested in, but you're dealing with personalities and people that are, you know, not mature themselves and are attacking you for no reason other than to make themselves look cool in front of their friends and you know finding outlets like music or sports or anything that's positive you know writing um, those things have helped I think we've all kind of shared those those type of things as as younger kids I know Matt uh, in the music we write and the, the lyrics he writes definitely deals with a lot of those things and we've always said that even when there's songs that sound dark and heavy and lyrically don't seem like it you know, it's, a, it's an outlet for people to see that other people experience it. Even people like us who you, you view us like, you know, we have a great life and we do. We have an amazing life. We play for people. We you know, get to share what we've made with others. But there are dark periods of time, even in something like this. Anyone goes through it. <clears throat> and we use this for others to have an outlet. And I hope it inspires people, whether to pick up music, to become whatever they are in life that they choose to be and just be the best at it. If I could speak to myself when I was in about, you know, third or fourth grade, you know, before I discovered music and when people bothered me enough to where I went home and, you know, was very upset and, you know, had to, I don't know, you just kind of go in your room and just, you, you cry about those kind of things. Things that now that obviously as an adult, I, you know, wouldn't affect me and I wouldn't think twice, but, you know, if I could go back then, it, you just really, I'd like to tell myself, you know, to go and discover other things and to get away from those people that, you know, keep hurting you. Don't try to impress them. Um, and also on, at the same time, you know, don't, don't turn on people that are looked down upon, you know, those are the people you go to. Those are the, the outsiders are usually the, the most unique and the coolest people. And I feel like, you know, with heavy music, this is an outsider's genre.